Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. That's Chick. That's Josh. That's Ace, our engineer. I Wait a minute. Do I hear the rumblings of the Ace Cosby joke of the day coming? There's Pat Godwin. That's Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk, known as the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. This is Tom speaking. And um, Ms. Pat has joined us in the studio, the great comedian. And uh, Pat, I notice this is cool. Coming up May 8th, New York, New York, Carolines uh, on Broadway. And then May 9th through the 11th, Lexington, Kentucky's Comedy Off Broadway. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. A couple of... Uh, do couple of broadways for you and then may 16th through the 19th miss pat live and in person at the house of comedy in bloomington minnesota all coming up for pat pat like the wig today thank you that is a Put lot of hair <laughs> that's got to be heavy uh heavy is it heavy <laughs> why would I, hair be heavy look how long it is it it's goes been down a long time he, he ain't been with hair long it's been a long time yeah that's true is it yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, if i had hair again i'd just be slouching over <laughs> <laughs> you, you should go and get you some black man waves you know the waves that are coming back from eighth grade black men you have no clue what i'm talking about oh right? yeah like the uh isn't there a, temp- a temptations uh broadway show coming yes out now? yes and they're uh, earlier, the early days of the Temptations. Looks had, great. Like, I've, I've seen a bunch of video from it. Yeah, you music. get one of those, how do? There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, the uh, the process. Remember that? They don't call it process no more, Tom. That's so seventies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just a perm or a Jerry okay. curl is or the, whatever. Is the pomade still happening? The pomade. pomade? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they use that for other things, Tom. Do you remember Dippity Do? <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Of course you do. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Who used yeah, Dippity Do? It's like br- it's like white bro- people like did. A, like, <laughs> a bro- like a brill cream. Right? White yes. people yeah. used Dippity Do. It yeah. was like a, a styling clearly gel. jelly. So if you had like stuff. one of those uh, sort of flat tops, but you would get the front. To that was stick that was butch wax. No, you know what that's called? Oh, the rabbit ridge. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And that was called butch wax. Okay, butch that, wax would do that. That's still out there. And there was a shampoo called. Gee, your hair smells terrific. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they, they, they tried to go into the feminine hygiene field, and that, that didn't really take off. <laughs> Rather unfortunate. Their creative department was fired. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I, I tell right. you, shampoo worked better down there than that other stuff girls put down there. Yeah, don't put anything down there. I do. Yep. Are you shampoo oh, it? Boy. Yeah, I have to wash and set it. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm black. It's a little nappy down there, oh, baby. I have to boy. make it well, soft. I think it's nappy everywhere. Uh, black <laughs> right. Mind your business, Tom. Uh, I think there's, I think there's nappy everywhere. <laughs> Sir Tom Griswold, 2019. I still got I one ovary. Uh, there are certain Asian cultures where I think it's quite straight. I, that's true. Some guy Is that the, true? There was some guy at the gym that had pubic bangs. Yeah, <laughs> very, they comb bangs. it out. Uh, very, what? Very yep. weird. Mm-hmm. They, they comb it yeah, out? My, when I lived in Korea, I had a girlfriend, and she had <laughs> several other lovers. Uh, and <laughs> a husband. <laughs> they would come through. She, no, she referred she, to them as clients. <laughs> I would, she would uh, comb it out. Comb it out. So that it was straight and not Well, you curly. can't do that when you black because uh, it, it, you know, it's, can't, it's, tight, it, it's, yeah. it's rough. Oh, so sure. It, yeah, yeah. I'm tender headed down there. <laughs> Ten, tender Only head. you get that joke. Thank you. Thank you. you tender a relaxer. Uh, a no, relaxer. Uh, and then yeah. I'd be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like gonorrhea all over again. <laughs> all over again. <laughs> that sounds like a country song. Yeah. yeah. Gonorrhea all, all over, over again. again. <laughs> you never had gonorrhea? Uh, no, no. It's just like firecrackers no. down there. It's not no. bad. Uh, I've never had firecrackers down there either. That sounds like another country song. I loved her so much I got firecrackers down there. Only, only when you pee it feel like firecrackers. Oh. Oh. Again, I'm out. <laughs> Tom, you have not lived if you haven't had an STD. Oh, he has. Oh, I, I've had a... Uh, how do you know, Christy? Because he's talked about yeah, it. He's, talked yeah. about it. Yeah. he's the only one I think in the room. Yeah, has. yeah but you've had no, the, the not the crabs. That's not an STD. Oh, you can I, pick them off. Yeah, the crabs. And like, get them to somebody else. Yeah, I noticed when, you know, when I the, that I did have some freckles walking down my leg. Oh yeah. no, he t- counts that as those, an STD. Those are, those are, those are the freckles. Crabs. Mm-hmm. No, no, they no, were the crabs. They were the crabs they, That's not an STD. Okay, you can no. pick them off and put them in a jar. I'm talking about something you need a shot for. <laughs> <laughs> See, have you had that? 
<laughs> shot for you got to go to the clinic. Now, you Pat, go to the we, clinic we, and hide your face. Pat, we had a, your face. We had yeah, a story my yesterday. Do that. <laughs> we had a story yesterday that I thought was interesting uh, for the ladies. There is a famous gynecologist. Her name is uh, Dr. Gunter. Dr. Jen. Jennifer Gunter with a G. Yes. And uh, this is one of those fads that's floating around uh, in the on the internet because everyone would rather take their health advice from some random stranger on the internet than from an actual medical professional. <laughs> My husband our, do that. In our culture. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of this. You've heard of this thing about women are placing garlic in their... Uh, Mommy I parts saw it. Yeah. as a natural alternative to tr yeah. treat a yeast infection is what but they're don't oh. don't do it, ladies. That's what the doctor yeah. says. Um, and, uh, Old wine mine's smell. already don't smell right. Don't add garlic to it. Oh, no. oh man, Tom, oh, it don't oh, smell oh, right. Oh. <laughs> on days I'm watching too much Netflix. Just <laughs> 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 on your own juices. Come on, Chris, yeah. don't act like you don't smell yeah. yours too. Don't be acting like that. Yeah. All uppity and stuff. That thing ain't right every day. Yeah. <laughs> I wash it when I gotta go How somewhere. How is it today? <laughs> I well, had I, to shower today. I feel like I should change the subject. <laughs> uh, we I have, tell you this, my gynecologist don't like me. I had to well, switch gynecologists. <laughs> you think? You think? Is it a is it a lady or a male? It was a man, but I found me a really cute one that don't mind seeing me naked because he like. But my other ones were like a really Jesus freak. So, but he, I think he just didn't like the way I look naked. So I go in there one day. True story, y'all. I had hemorrhoids. Oh. So I call him up. I was like, Hey, doctor, whatever. I want to say his name. I was like, I got this meatball hanging out my butt. Oh. <laughs> he said, You know what? I'm so, out. Yeah. So look. I, I went to medical school for this. <laughs> <laughs> my mother, my mother put me through medical school. <laughs> I look, you know, I'm, his, you know, I live, you know, I live in this little small town. So he get me on the bed, and he come in the room with like three, four nurses, like I'm gonna rape him or something. So he get me on the bed, yeah. and he spread my butt cheeks. I was like, Hey, doctor, you ever had this much big black butt in your face before? He let my booty clap, and he sent me to a specialist. <laughs> oh well, it's like an Olive Garden. I, I think, I, I, I think. Oh, uh, we've talked about this with uh, doctors of various uh, uh, specialties, but I can imagine they walk in in the morning and look at the list of patients coming in today and sometimes go, ah. <laughs> yeah. talking the, I used to be a medical assistant, so the dirty ones always leave a, a streak on the, on the oh, little white paper. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. What is wrong with you? Oh, come on I, now. I no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not shooting I, a messenger here. It's yeah, I, the, 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 I, These people are that dirty. Yeah, but, and I used to, I, so I was a medical assistant one time, right, when Bill Clinton made me go get my GED and get my life together. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so wow. I wanted to see, I was a, a medical assistant, so, you know, you, the doctor dig in and you're like, what's really down there? Don't you look down there, Tom. I looked down there, I was like, whoa, it's like a dark tunnel with bats in it, well, at least hers was. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we've made, uh, we've learned a lot today, we've made, made a little bit of progress. Yeah, uh, wow. Wow. Okay. Man. Now, uh, uh, Pat, we'll be uh, finding out what's going on with your life. I know you've got a lot of things happening, working on your TV show. I am. And uh, mentioned that you're going to be in uh, New York City coming up Wednesday, May 8th, and then in beautiful Lexington, Kentucky, May 9th through the 11th at Comedy Off-Broadway. That's some cool news. I like Comedy Off-Broadway. Oh, great yeah. yeah. Great club. Lexington. Great that club. Is, I'm coming, y'all. And I got a podcast, Tom. I actually like to talk. I had no idea. <laughs> oh. Really? Uh, no, are you on it? Who, who is, do, you have, do you have guests? Uh, no, it's just me and uh, Chris Spangler. I know. <laughs> wait, 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 a minute. wait a minute. What? Are you me? <laughs> really? Yeah, you're Chris Spangler. The from guy that the works show. here? It's, it's, yeah, it's Spangle. Spangle. Oh, Spangler. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's Spangler from now on. No, yeah. Spangler now. Yep, yep. Wow. <laughs> he, he just drove off the road. <laughs> yeah. He just, he be trying to correct me, but that's just how I say Spangler. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he be trying well, well. to correct me. He keeps trying. 20 minutes of every episode. <laughs> no, it's, it's Spangler. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is the name of your podcast? It's called The Pat Down. The Pat Down. Yeah. Oh, that's a good name. Like that. Yeah, good. The Pat Down. Yeah, and it's, it's funny too, Tom. And well, me sure. and Chris Spangler is awesome together. We totally opposite. And the first time he came yeah. to my house, I think he was scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, bet he, I'll, bet he, I'll bet he was. I'll bet he was. It was a meatball day. <laughs> it took him three trips before he walked in the kitchen. I was like, hey, we're in E. You want something to eat? He was like, 
Uh, I better not say no. And so I'm in there feeding him. I think I fed him a peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He in there eating with the kids. And I'm cussing out the kids. And the more I cuss, the more red he get. I'm like, oh, they used to it. This is how I talk to him at the house. Oh, <laughs> but oh. we are perfect together. Well, I, I can't wait. I'm going to have to listen to an episode. Maybe I can be a guest one day. Oh, Tom. We just did one on, on Abducted in Plain Sight. You seen sure. that Netflix thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was a white pimp right there. I ain't never seen a white man <laughs> pimp like that white man oh, right there. Boy, yeah. that's a white man with a pimp with no Cadillac and no sure afro. Oh, that guy was cool. Well, th- we'll get back to this Freaky exciting guy. topic. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show from the Napa Auto Parts Studios. Happy to be here. We've got some great guests in the studio. First of all, the uh, regular regulars would include our engineer, the man touching the buttons, and the man behind the uh, funny bone... The funny bone of comedy. Um, the crazy bone. It's, what the it's hell are you a- talking about? Ace Cosby. The oh. joke of the day, man. <laughs> well, on the road soon. On the road soon. They're more observational than... Okay. Yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, Chick McGee's across the way. Yeah. Uh, that would be Josh Arnold over there. All right. Josh, getting ready to go see the big movie of the moment. Uh, it, it may it may break the record for a weekend. It probably will. Um, I'll be sure to not go. Uh, what is it called again? <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Ah, okay, great. Um, a superhero movie that's three hours long, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we did get a uh, communication about the film. This is not a spoiler, don't worry. Uh, we have been told, uh, because it's three hours, if you have to go to the bathroom during the film, go during the, quote, lunchroom meeting scene. Okay. Apparently it's quite dull and nothing happens there. And there's a fun little thing on Google today. If you Google Thanos and you click on... The little hand, the gold icon, the gold the icon gold Thanos gov. With, it makes yeah. it looks like it makes all of your stuff on your um, computer computer disappear, m- missed away. Yeah. Or, or what is Thanos? <laughs> oh, the main geez. villain. Thanos the is main Josh uh, Josh Brolin, right? Uh, he's yes. a super villain. Yeah. It's uh, in the movie. Again, my uh, intense not caring about this film cannot be measured. All right. You didn't see Black Panther? I hated that movie. I thought it was stupid. What? What? Hated it. You can't tell black people their first superhero was uh, horrible. Uh, well, it was a stupid movie, and I did. If, if that's <laughs> that's the, all for a black hero. If that's the greatest country in the world, and they solve their problems by having karate moves, I'm out. I don't like any superhero movie, black, white, or green. <laughs> what? I think they're stupid. I, that's why I don't date you. Okay. Well, thanks. that and the fact that you're married. Yeah. You can't date if you're married. Well, you can cheat when they rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the rule? <laughs> Your Honor. You know what? <laughs> I ain't going to stop trying till I you die, Tom. I think she might be onto something there. Right? Well, uh, we have a lot to get to here in the Napa Auto Parts studios, and we're be- also being joined by, uh, we have comedian Megan Gailey right over there. That is uh, comedian Ms. Pat, as you can hear. And we are joined by our friend comedian Al Jackson. Hey, Al. Yo, what's up? You got two of my girls in there. Hi, Al. Now, hey, Al, 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 I can tell you're calling from an unusual spot today. Where are you? I am uh, calling from uh, Tempe, Arizona. So, yeah, we're, we're doing a little bathroom action today, Tom. <laughs> I was going to say that. That's usually <laughs> my code that I text you. It's very, it's very it's echoey. Bathroom. Very echoey. Don't uh, want to wake uh, her up, do you? Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> at, oh. answer the question, Al. <laughs> <laughs> He's already awake. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, now we have a lot to get to here, Al, but uh, as, as many know, you are help, helping me get a little bit hipper, helping me with the uh, lingo, Miss Pat. Yes, baby. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, we have some new words in the... Uh, did you see these new words in the uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Al? I did. I saw the, the ones for this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, just, I, didn't look, I didn't look at them, but I know they're out. No, I'm sure you know the first one. Swole... I do. Well, that's back from like the movie Friday. That means like you're jacked, you're, you're swole up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not really up to date on their. Well, this is, but they've officially entered the dictionary, which has some, which means something. Yeah, these something. terms are, are uh, you know, it takes a while for yeah. to get to the dictionary. Now, I didn't, I've never heard this one. I've never heard anybody use it. Uh, buzzy. Buzzy. Like, is that in terms of like a news story? Yeah. Yep. Web, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be, here's the 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 examples they give. The feel in the street is a buzzy mix of. Yeah, nobody blah, blah, says blah. this. No. Yeah, I've never heard that one. Maybe like an no an Entertainment that, like, Tonight correspondent that. used it once. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, this next one, Chick McGee knew right away uh, because he uh, actually has one. A bug out bag. That's right. Fifty thousand dollars. That's not a thing. Fifty thousand dollars in cash, <laughs> fake beard, handgun, and six passports. Don't, you don't have one. That sounds like a killer. A bug, yeah, a, a, a bug out bag means that you are ready at any time. You can grab that bag and you can uh, bug you, out. You can bug out. Yeah, he grabbed the 
He grabbed a grip and headed for the coast. That's what you do. It sounds like something they'd have in the TV show The Americans. Sure. They'd have a... Just, well, they have safe houses and stuff all sure, over the city. Of sure. course. Yeah, okay. okay. Very, very, very cool. Full of everything. They're such uh, a um, uh, Now, the swole, of course, we discussed swole just a few minutes ago. That's a weightlifting term. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think Megan made the distinction. Swollen is more of a negative. Mm-hmm. I would disagree. Well, okay. Swollen is an actual word. Swole is something a douchebag would say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Josh... Swole or swole up? Because I've only heard swole up. You know, they say swole. Yeah, let's get swole. I've heard people say yeah, that before. Yeah, but if someone was like, oh, you look swollen. <laughs> yeah. That's an of insult. Course. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. No, that means yeah, you're that's... like bloated and nasty. Yeah, looking. but if someone was like, you look swole, I'd be like, okay, I got a tricep popping. <laughs> no, it does make, yes, you, you are and, correct. And then I have come up with a variation on that, which is swole mate. Which would be, say, your workout partner would be your swole mate. Mm-hmm. Um, now, is there a jail aspect to that as well? <sighs> no, it oh, could yeah. be. That's that's that could be great if it's a kind of prison love. Sure. Well, no, because you know, guys in prison, no, especially when you're in the cell, you do you they work out together. They use each other for leverage and stuff. So maybe that could be a perfect swole mate. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not all that familiar with. Uh, prison workout. Uh, <laughs> Al, are you saying it. people pick other people up for weights? Uh, yeah, if you ain't got no ways, what else you gonna pick up, Miss Pat? I was in jail. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't picking up nobody. No. <laughs> How long were you in jail, Pat? A year. Mm. A year? Yeah, I were lost you? a lot of weight, too, because the food ain't that good. Don't go I to bet jail. not. Were you in uh, in uh, stir? Did they still use that term? Stir? <laughs> <laughs> the answer would be no. Uh, no My no. mother used to call it the hooskow. I'm guessing that's probably not... Uh, <laughs> Uh, out no, there Tom. anymore. <laughs> and by the it's way, called Tom, the big house back when I was going. The big house. Uh-huh. Tom, according to... When did you uh, go to jail? 1930? <laughs> <laughs> according no. to the Urban Dictionary, dated May 11, 2013, swole mate is already in the lexicon. Oh. oh. 2013? 2013. I had no idea. Uh, Your lifelong uh, gym partner. Uh, Tom's 2000 and late. Huh? I got one for you. <laughs> Am I right on that? <laughs> so, Miss Pat, seriously, when you, when you were... Uh, were you in, the, in a prison or were you in a county jail? Well, what I did is um I had to stay in the, the county jail because I had another drug charge pending. And so I had a really good lawyer at the time. I didn't want to go to prison. So what they do is they, they take you down. It was hard with prison. Turn you directly around. Like you, you have a prison ID number, but you didn't actually go to prison. Ah. So I did most because I had another charge pending. So you did most of your time in county. I did most yeah. of my time in county. Uh-huh. Did you have a prison nickname? No. Nobody liked me, Tom. Like, the women who was going together, nobody, I didn't come, everybody, because they would say trucks up, and that mean you are, uh, like, you was sexy. So, they didn't like me. I didn't get the truck up call. Trucks really? Up? Yeah, these called trucks up. They didn't mean new meat coming in the sale room. Mm. Huh. <laughs> trucks up? Trucks up. That and everybody get sense. the picture. You ever heard that, way. Al? No, what is the trucks like as in the automobile truck? Yeah. <laughs> and that's when I see I've my first it. hermaphrodite. Oh, her, oh her, her hermaphrodite. hermaphrodite. Oh, yeah. well, that's yeah. a new word we just invented. Was. Of course, oh, the yeah. gay hermaphrodite would be a hermaphrodite. Oh, yeah. okay. My, my okay. daughter is currently dating a her oh, yeah. hermaphrodite. Your da- your, this is your lesbian daughter? Yeah. Okay. That's... She likes everything. Okay. Apparently, she, likes, she wants all of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, just, that's just greedy. <laughs> now, Al, what's the latest from you? I know you're working in uh, Tempe at um, uh, the Tempe Improv. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at the Improv out here tonight. Two shows tonight. And, uh, you know, uh, Frank Kelly and I have our podcast, Alan Frank's Hobby Series, and we're going to be taping a couple of live ones tomorrow. So, oh, cool. And we're going to see Endgame, Tom, so you're going to love that. Uh, Frank's going to sit through that? No, he can't. He loves uh, Frank, that stuff. Frank has a, uh, a comic book podcast. I'm still, I think, I, yeah. I'm not as bad as you are, Tom, but I'm, I, the, the cartoons, bro, I don't, <laughs> you know, I can't do three hours. I have so much to do, yeah. but I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I heard it's good. Yeah, I'm just not into. I, 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 I know. I'm, I'm wrong about this. I would never watch a superhero movie, and I would never sit through the NFL draft. I don't get it. Uh. <laughs> that the NFL draft is. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a football fan. I just you're watching men making decisions. Yeah. Like yeah. it's, yeah. it's uh, what are you doing? But it's, it's popular. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, I'll, I'll have a lot of other fun things to do this week, and I will pass on the. Tom, fair movie. enough. Can I ask Al, have you ever heard of a quote? Sure. Al, have you heard this one? Rock, rock. Hmm. Rock, rock. Yeah. Hmm. Rock. So I'm talking to my <laughs> ghetto nephew the other day, and I'm in, I'm in, I'm in uh, a, a video with Lil Dolph and Snoop Dogg. I'm in the video. Right. And uh, he was, so. he called me up, and he was like, um, 
And he's like, yeah, little Dolph, I mean, young Dolph is my rock rock. And I'm like, can you speak correct English? And rock rock <laughs> mean best friend now. That's what they're saying. You my rock rock. Really? Huh. I've never heard that. And so rock I asked rock. my son, and I was like, can you translate for me? Because I'm lost. Mm. Okay. Uh, we, just just stuff like, like that makes me feel old. When yeah. you just have no idea, you're like, oh, it's happening. Well, the thing I is, like the rock old, rock especially rock. with the internet now. He's my now, rock. He's my... The language, mm -hmm. language changes so quickly. It's really tough. You my rock rock. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Uh, roll, roll. Is <laughs> <laughs> that the proper response? Oh, I don't no, know. That was uh, at least hurtful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. uh, and most aggressive. Um, <laughs> I meant like a sushi roll or something. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, but <laughs> Al, I Al, um, I, uh, Miss Pat and I are going to go out to lunch and have some uh, so-called soul food. So-called. I have never experienced so that. So-called. So-called. Uh, Al, tell this man how good oxtails is. The oxtail is per okay. Listen, if you guys are gonna get an oxtail, you need to go right now because you want to get it after it's been marinating all night. Mm. Uh, oxtail is a special, special food, Tom. It comes right off the bone. Uh, you can't get it the later in the later in the day because a lot of soul food places in Jamaican spots run out of it. Uh, I oh. need you. I need you to take a picture of the oxtail. Okay. And say, and, it, and, say, and put it up. It, it's going to be a life changing moment. What do you have in the like sign? Bigger than your nice. kid's birth, like that big. I, I was going <laughs> to say it's, it's better than making a baby. Oxtail. Really you, you have it with rice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is so good. Next Tom. week, Miss Pat and I will go out and we will experience. And you going to sit in my lap and I'm going to feed oh. you oxtail. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my God, baby. Let it happen. <laughs> Two million hits. Please. Okay. Al, we need to get our quiz up and running. And a bib. A bonnet and a bib on Miss Pat's lap. Okay, no. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Mm. Uh, Al, we got time for a quick quiz. I'm ready. What have you got? <laughs> All right, Tom, we're going to run through these. You're going to get these. Obviously, you did great last week, so uh -huh. we're going to, I mean, let's just keep that momentum going. Okay. Uh, Tom, sometimes when uh, rappers drop mixtapes, uh, there'll be fake gunshots throughout that mixtape. Why would the DJ do that? Um, uh, to clear the dance floor? <laughs> yeah, so, so I'll, I'll, yep. yeah, because that's what we want them to do, the last thing dance. Oh, oh people sorry. People get off the floor so we can have people oh, hear this. So they're a fake, I, I, to make them sound tough? I don't know. Anybody um, got a guess? They, mm. So this is Meg, a... You listen to hip-hop? To make uh, them pay attention? I do. No, but... to make sure the other rapper, uh, other DJs don't steal that beat, especially oh, if it's a brand new, uh, brand new track okay. that's dropping. That, that's the way you make sure that you distinguish it. Oh, oh. don't I feel bad. That. I didn't know that, Tom. Okay, okay. Very I actually good. thought it was being shot at at the studio. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm over one. Right. Okay, what's All next? Right. All right, Tom, you got this. Uh, uh, man, I can't believe it was this long ago. About twenty years ago, uh, Sean Combs, Sean Puffy Combs. Had a hit show on MTV where he tried to create a mm -hmm. rap group. Mm -hmm. The name of this show was what, Tom? Making what? Whoopi? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it making the something? No, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, Tom, go with that. Oh, uh, because I remember this. But they I'm had to saying. walk and get him cheesecake. Yeah. Like was walk across the, the Brooklyn Bridge. Making the band, maybe? Tom, there you got it. Yeah. That was it? Yeah, yeah. baby! Yes! Holy moly! Dumb luck. My baby getting black! <laughs> <laughs> Are any of them doing anything now? No. Okay. They're the, working they're at not a at all. Yeah, they're, they're didn't, still didn't getting cheesecake. Didn't work out? Okay. No. All right, Tom, you're going to get this. We're going to keep the momentum, and then we're going to end this. Nice. Uh, all right, Tom. Uh, we I watched Beyonce's Homecoming. I was very uh, emotional mm -hmm. raising a black uh, black girl. You know, it's a, it's a big deal for me. Uh, and really, the 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 focus on it was uh, trying to highlight this, and it happens during halftime of black college football games. It's called the Battle of the What? Mm, wow. Uh. Uh, anybody got any ideas here? It's Pat? not Kyle Wild. Hmm. Um, no. Is this a, something that visually takes place on the field? Y yes, visually and... Is the band all, out there audibly? at the time? Mm. Yeah, the, oh. go with that. Does it involve drums, maybe? It. No, you just said it. The Battle of the what? The Battle of the Bands? That's it. That's it? Woo! Oh, that, that was easy. 
Uh, okay. Yes, band during uh, at halftime is why people go to black college football games. People leave at during the third quarter. Wow, um, yeah, I know the, the bands, bands are amazing. Yeah, the bands are great. I know that. You never been to a HBCU football game? No, but I've. I've oh, we gonna put that on your list before okay. we die. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking you to a black college okay. game, and neither one of us been to a black college. <laughs> well, I ballad. I, I didn't even get out of a yeah. black school. But oh, wait a minute, Albert. Yeah, I, I've been. Yeah, to I, I went to a black school. Where you went, Al? Uh, I went to Tougaloo down in Mississippi. Oh, he went to a real black school. <laughs> <laughs> it was as black as you could get. Yeah. Well, the black people can't even come out doors after 8 o'clock. He went to a real black <laughs> Tougaloo. Listen to a Tougaloo. <laughs> wow. That's a beautiful name. Tom, it would teach you, oh, my God, you ain't had no fun till you seen a black college. Oh, my. Gremlin, you remember when that black coach, oh, my. They had the best band. Tom. They can shake it. They can shake they it. They can shake wow. it. You want me to stand and up and show you how they shake it? Yes. Yes. Game right there, the Circle City Classic yeah. this year. Now maybe yeah, I could do I could do my new song I've been working on in the last few minutes. Oh um, boy, uh, where I get up, get up there with some weightlifters. It's the Sam and Dave Classic. I'm a swole man. Oh man, uh, <laughs> posing as they uh, uh, give me my new oh, word for the day, Al. Oh, I won't be here. All right, and Tom, you're gonna get this one. Uh, obviously, we learned about Rock Rock and Miss Pat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tom, if I told you, uh, man. Uh, it, if you heard the phrase collecting receipts, what do you think that means? Collecting receipts. Um, is this mm -hmm. some sort of drug In culture? What context? <laughs> no, no, okay, no. no. What context would you would you collecting receipts? Use that? Uh, yikes! Um, I don't know this one. Returning stuff at Walmart. <laughs> no, no, would that be the answer? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> would that uh, be any sort of answer that would be useful? <laughs> that is. That is. A answer. Yes. <laughs> that certainly is, is a reply. Yes, you're right. Um, it is, they are words. Yes. Is this would this mean you're you're uh, calling in some debts with respect to favors that you're owed? No, but you're on the right track. Can I Ms. Yeah. Pat Meg, Meg? I watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, so I yeah, do know what this means. Wait a okay. minute, white girl. You're not going to know, and I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it means, I don't watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. It means like you're bringing the proof. You have the evidence to call someone on their BS. That's it. That's young people stuff, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't none of our business. So, like, right. text messages. That's usually yeah. what they're referencing. Like, like, collect, I got the receipt. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, uh, so, today. Tom, I need you to use that in a sentence, because Meg described it perfect. Um, okay, well, uh, the reason I didn't pick up my daughter is because I've got the receipts indicating that you are, in fact, going to be picking <laughs> oh, her up. There you go, yeah. 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 There we go. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. It, it yeah. is. You know, I mean, it's very sort suburban of suburban way to use it. But <laughs> right, yes, it's very <laughs> suburban way to use it's it. It's correct. It's enough. correct. Yeah. It seems like the room didn't like it, but it is correct. <laughs> <laughs> they did not care for it. That no. True. So it'd be more like, oh, wait, uh, I'll, I'll make it a little more. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't bring home the uh, oh, oxtail. <laughs> yes. But uh, you indicated that after yoga, you were going to pick up the oxtail. I have the receipts right here on my phone. I've been collecting receipts. I oh, got sorry. them here. Oh, sorry. I have them. I've been collecting receipts. <laughs> when you say indicated, it was out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and sorry. yoga, probably. Yeah, not to mention yoga. <laughs> do okay, I look sorry. like I can do yoga? <laughs> I eat yogurt, <laughs> but I can't do yoga. Mm, yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the frozen yogurt places. What happened? I don't. I think it was a fad. I oh, love frozen A good yogurt. fad. Bring back the TCBY. Thanks, Al. Once again, Al and Tempe. We'll talk to you again early next Frank, week. Tell Frank we Al? said hi. Hey, I love y'all. I definitely will. All yeah, right, tell Frank I can't believe Bye he's Al. suffering through this movie, and he better come out with an impression of somebody. Thank you. Okay, we'll talk to Frank <laughs> next week. Frank's coming in, right? Uh, he is? We'll look forward to that.